All right, good afternoon. Uh, today's update has to do with games by request. Um, I thought I'd go over it a little more specifically what I have so far. And please let me know if there are any requests that have been made that I've just overlooked and that I don't have here. It's quite possible. I have a funny feeling I might be forgetting one actually. But um, for Shootout Hockey 2018-19, I have uh, Vegas San Jose. That's going to be up first actually. Um, I'm, or up next. Uh, Boston, Montreal, and uh, also I think a New York area matchup. Um, I'm not going to name anyone's name in case uh, whoever is making requests would rather that I not do that um, uh, on camera or in a video. But uh, the same, I'm quite sure the same person, oh, I, I am sure actually that the same person who requested uh, Boston, Montreal, and then also some combination of like New York, Long Island, I think, or New York, New Jersey, something like that. Uh, so I put here New York area matchup. Um, the same person requested, uh, what was the game? Oh goodness, how, why am I forgetting it already? Sorry, Colorado, Vancouver, that's right. Um, so uh, I'm not, uh, I'm going to do these basically <laughs> back of the line with these two, but yeah, Vegas, San Jose. And then also too for shootout, um, I've decided to extend it to this because hey, when subscriber number one makes a request, uh, make an exception. So, and, and I mean, why not? I, I totally able to do uh, shootout great teams of the past. So Colorado, Detroit for that one, that'll be the 96. I should be more specific about this one. This is going to be the 96 Colorado avalanche. I wasn't sure if I could do a good Colorado Detroit matchup right away. And then it occurred to me that I do, I have the cup winning Colorado avalanche and the 96 Detroit team that had like 131 points, uh, finished the regular season really strong uh, with that. And, um, so that's right in around that era. And then for Mike Owens, Quick Play Pro Hockey, because when Mike Owens makes a request for Mike Owens <laughs> Quick Play Pro Hockey, I mean, you have to do it. So I have Montreal, Chicago, New York Rangers, and Buffalo. And uh, and I remember the Blues being mentioned, St. Louis, and I almost want to throw in Winnipeg, because I know that Winnipeg is kind of a, maybe unofficially I'm going to add Winnipeg here now. Because, yeah, the Blues and Jets, I know that the Jets, um, I've seen that the Jets are kind of, Kind of a uh, you know unofficially or perhaps officially a favorite to uh, to to uh, not to win but like people are rooting for the Jets I should say they are a rooting favorite so again I have that weird feeling that I might be forgetting one and I'm sorry obviously it isn't intentional or anything like that I just thought um, I I did get a handful of requests actually um, maybe not all at once but but just over the just incrementally over um, uh, the past week or so. And so I decided that I had to do something that was a little more organized. I still really like the idea to combine um, this the, the game spy request and also the project play and put them together so that I'm not overwhelming myself with um, uh, too many project play games and then trying to you know fit in some game spy requests in between. I do really want to be able to do both. So it just made a lot of sense to me to, uh, to combine them. Um, perhaps I am over explaining it. It wouldn't be the first time, but... Uh, and also, too, I, I didn't mention this in yesterday's video, and I kind of wanted to, um, and, and right before I do, I'll say as well that I, I also, I, I like the comment about Game of the Week, and uh, I and as I mentioned in the reply, I did give that consideration. I think I will still kind of do that. I think call a Game of the Week a, a Patch 83 request, you know, it could, it could totally happen. But um, also, I didn't get to say that, uh, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to write this down because I, uh, um, for the first time in a little while, I actually, and coincidentally, it was like a day after sort of agreeing uh, to myself and making this decision myself to, to do this and combine the games for our request and the project games. But I had a I had kind of a breakthrough night for better or for worse, and I, I will emphasize night because it was at kind of an odd hour, and I had to sort of force myself to go back to sleep. Uh, some ideas came to mind for uh, a game that I am developing, um, so I, that made me realize right away that yes, I do need to pull back on the pure play stuff because I do consider myself at least I don't know if you want to say an amateur designer or whatever. I don't officially have anything out yet in terms of hockey games but it was really really nice that that came to me almost uh, immediately that sort of like the ideas began to flow again because um, that was one thing I actually come to think of it since I'd started the channel that uh, hadn't happened and that's okay it's actually not that abnormal I, I have peaks and troughs um, air, uh, t you know periods of heavy activity where like I'm just I'm in the right mindset and I'm designing a lot and then or you know working on things a lot and then periods where 
uh, it's just isn't coming to me. And, and that can be weeks and even months. It's been months, a time or two. I started designing, um, basically I started playing just over a year and a half ago, I started playing uh, tabletop hockey again. And concurrently, like right alongside that, I, I started designing game, uh, a game as well. You know, the idea was like, I was looking at everybody else's hockey game and I was like, I'm going to design the ultimate hockey game. And <laughs> realizing in the process that, well, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes it's more fun to play a game than design one. And honestly, um, and this is probably a good way to conclude this video. And I really have to include status pro hockey, at least what I have played of it, you know, the sort of unofficial thing that I've cooked up for playing with it so far. Um, just about every hockey game that I have tried, every like tabletop hockey game that I have tried since getting back into the hobby, I can say this about all of them. I liked it better than I thought I would. Like these are some, so keep that in mind too. If you see a game that I'm playing here on camera uh, and um, you know, you think it looks good or you think, even if you think it doesn't look good, it's at least I can only speak from personal experience. It's probably even better than you think. Like if you were to actually sit down and play it for yourself, uh, you might find that, wow, like this game, this, you know, whether it's a seemingly simple game or a seemingly complex game, um, th they're all really neat. And, and so I think like it, as 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 much and as hard as I try to uh, do a really good job here with all of the games and really try to do videos that do them justice. I don't think it's possible for a video to do a game justice. I think if you really want to find out like the true beauty and joy of the game to uh, get it to the tabletop or in this case, the, the desktop, the blanketed desktop and uh, give it a shot for yourself. So I think that's a good way to end things for this afternoon. Once again, thanks for all the support and anything like commenting, liking, subscribing, clicking the notification bell, perhaps all that good stuff. Uh, actually probably not because at this hour it's probably pretty late if you're in North America but uh, while it's never expected it is always appreciated and yeah thanks again and bye for now